Hello, let's make a rolling TV cabinet that holds a TV, VCR, and a mini fridge. I recently decided to redo my shop from top to bottom so I would have a spot to hang out back here and watch old movies. And if you want to see the shop completely done, subscribe and click that notification bell because I'm going to be releasing a video where I do a tour of the entire new shop compared to the old shop coming out soon. For this project I was able to get away with using nothing but trash. The only thing I spent money on was the nails and black spray paint. First thing I had to do was measure my TV and then I started making a box that would fit around the TV and would also hold the VCR. I'm cutting a half lap joint which will help keep it strong and help make sure that everything is square and you just saw me cut some notches into the sides of my plywood which will make more sense later because I'm gonna have a sliding door on the front of this cabinet to help protect the TV and VCR from sawdust. I screwed this box all together made sure I got it all square. Then it was time to measure for the shelf that the VCR was gonna go on. I brought the piece of wood that I was going to be using for the shelf over to the actual box and used the actual box for my measurement instead of a tape measure. Doing this just makes for a more accurate cut. I screwed right in through the sides of this box into the shelf knowing that I'd be covering all of this up later with some herringbone patterns. I happened to see this toddler bed on the side of the road and it had a two foot by four foot half inch sheet of plywood in the bottom of it. I took it home remove the plywood and then just drag this toddler bed out to the side of my road and it was gone within 10 minutes. I decided to remove this plywood off the top of the box that I had already made and replace it with some one by material. Turns out I did not have enough plywood laying around for this project so I was going to have to use this for the bottom of this cabinet. Now if I was going to go to the store and buy all the plywood to make this, the sides of this cabinet would be made out of one sheet of plywood instead of making two boxes and stacking them on top of each other. What is that thing called? Workbench? <laughs> Jesus Christ. I used my old workbench top here as the top of this cabinet, but hated it. So I called my dad and told him to keep an eye out for an old dining table on the side of the road, and he was able to find one the next day, but we'll get to that. I want this refrigerator to be built right into the cabinet where it fits in tight on all sides. But I also need the bottom to be the same size as the top, so I was going to need to cut some filler pieces on my table saw. The board I'm screwing in right there is helping to keep everything square, but also is stopping the refrigerator from sliding back any further than that board. The next day I came out and I started cutting these boards that are going to fill in the gaps on the side of the cabinet. I screwed these filler pieces into the sides of my plywood box, and then when I was done doing that I could remove the refrigerator from said box and then flip the box up on its back and screw some screws into the bottom of this box. Once that was all done, I stacked the two boxes on top of one another, crawled underneath it, and screwed some screws up into the bottom of the bottom box to the top box to secure it all together. After that, I gave it a quick sand. I found a headboard on the side of the road that I'll be using for my herringbone pattern, and I set a stop on my miter saw and cut all my boards to length. Then it was time to run them through my table saw at an eighth of an inch. I drew some lines into the side of this cabinet at the angle that I was looking for and then I covered it with a ton of glue and started nailing all these boards onto the sides of my cabinet. And then I continued nailing all these boards on until I had the whole thing covered. I gave everything a quick sand. Then I used my track saw to cut straight edges along all the sides of this cabinet. Sometimes I hear my own voice while I'm doing this and it's so weird. Anyway. I used some cedar fence posts that I had laid in the back for the trim of this cabinet and I painted it black with spray paint which is not seen here but you get the point and I started nailing it on to all of the edges of my cabinet. I cut boards at a 45 degree angle to go down the sides of the refrigerator in those little fill in spots, glued and nailed those on, I put some casters on the bottom. And there is the table my dad grabbed for me off the side of the road. The day after I asked him to keep an eye out for a table on the side of the road, he found this. So I used my track saw to cut a top for this rolling cabinet, and then it was time to make the front sliding door. If you remember earlier in this video, I mentioned that I was cutting a groove for a door to slide in and out of, and that's what I'm doing right now. I'm making the front of that cabinet, and I'm cutting a tongue for that to slide into. And then I did the herringbone pattern all down the front of this piece of plywood. Then once again I used my track saw to cut along the edges. 
After that, I grabbed some spray paint because I'm lazy and I don't feel like painting this. And I painted the whole inside of this cabinet. Then all that was left to do was seal this and put some hinges on the top so I could lift the top up, slide this front off, and watch all the horror movies and 80s action movies that my little heart desires. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next one where I build this or something else that's in the shop. It's all about the shop right now. So subscribe and check it out. Later. Thank you. Bye. See you again and have a good dream.